Today, members of the faith community marched down the streets of Drexel Hill to call attention to the problem of gun violence. As CBS News Philadelphia Delaware County reporter Madeline Wright shows us, the event included a memorial to those who lost their lives. With song and prayer, dozens of people gathered at an interfaith service in Drexel Hill Sunday to say no to gun violence. Even though Philadelphia has a formidable challenge, so does Delaware County. To raise awareness, the group marched from Incarnation Holy Sacrament Episcopal Church to Drexel Hill United Methodist Church about a mile away, where a large memorial stands out front. There are 174 t shirts representing each person lost to gun violence in Delaware County in the last five years. My uh, best friend, her, her um, son was, was, uh, was killed by a, an assault weapon. It's like an epidemic and we need to um, protect our children. The people marching believe laws need to be changed to prevent gun violence. They're urging people to write letters to their state and federal lawmakers demanding action. What we seek to do is hopefully eventually enact the legislation that would limit individuals to the purchase of no more than a single handgun in any 30 day period. Brian Miller is the founder of Heeding God's Call, the nonprofit that organized the march. He says limiting handgun purchases would make gun trafficking less profitable to criminals, thereby reducing violent crime. To him, the issue is personal. His brother, FBI agent Mike Miller, was shot and killed on the job decades ago. The most amazing thing is the shock of losing somebody that way to gun violence is something that never leaves. I'm still shocked that, that Mike was lost that way. We are in the light of God. Miller has since made it his mission to bring churches, synagogues, and mosques together to fight for a safer tomorrow for everyone. In Drexel Hill, Delaware County, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.